his big thing, and I think it's an impressive thing to say, is he supports the Constitution. Yeah, I'm telling you. And for that, people call him crazy. He's got these kind of kooky ideas. He's not only unacceptable inside the Republican Party, he's unacceptable in America. They yeah. are out to get this guy off the map and out of the way and move somebody in from the establishment. We're into wars that are costing us trillions of dollars. Those trillions of dollars should have been left in the economy to build jobs and produce prosperity here at home. Ron Paul makes a lot of sense, and more people ought to listen to him. They talked about having friendships and trading, getting along with people, and staying out of the entangling alliance and the internal affairs of foreign nations when it's none of our business. He is getting pretty close to serious isolation. They believe that we have this moral responsibility to use force to go around the world and say you will do it our way or else. The people don't like us propping up their dictators no more than we would like it if a foreign country came in here and propped up a dictator in our country. Thomas Jefferson lives. He's Ron Paul. Her son was taken into federal custody two months ago. She can't get him out, and she can't get any answers. Know that they can come and take anyone in your family away, even your children. They don't have to be guilty. President Obama signed into law a four-year extension of the Terrorism Fighting Patriot Act. The Patriot Act is an attack on our liberties in the Fourth Amendment. It does not solve the problems that we face. We cannot protect liberty by taking liberty away from the American people. It's a bill in the U.S. Senate called the National Defense Authorization Act. It gives the president the authority to indefinitely imprison people without charge, or trial. This is major. This says that the military can arrest an American citizen. Do you want to have the government have the ability to send you to Guantanamo Bay for indefinite detention? When they say, I want my lawyer, you tell them, shut up. Governor Romney is president. Would you have signed the National Defense Act as written? Yes, I would have. And I do believe that it's appropriate. You have to know why we have problems in this country. Why do we have boom periods and bust periods? It is related to something very, very important if you want to understand economics and you want prosperity. You have to understand the mischief of the Federal Reserve System and we have to change it. We learned the Fed secretly gave Wall Street banks over $7.7 .7 trillion. Where did the Fed get that $7.7 .7 trillion? They created most of it from nothing. The Fed takes our freedom and gives it to the banks. Let's take our freedom back. If we have a right to our life and our liberty, we should have a right to keep the fruits of our labor as well. You say Ron Paul is, quote, dangerous. We are dangerous to the status quo of this country. Ron Paul had perhaps the most enthusiastic pep rally last night. His supporters view him as actually more than a Republican. He's a messenger for something. There's no way they're going to stop the momentum that we have started. All you have to do is let your voice be heard. Elbow.